Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what I'm going to be showing you are all of my favorite um, orange tone lipsticks that are more of a warm tone, all the way from mattes to my favorite orange tone glosses um, to go with the look like I have right now. It's one of my go-to summer looks just because it is so warm and it is a very glowy um, type of look. So these are the lipsticks that I would pair with them so if you want to see that then keep on watching um, at the very end I'm gonna put together a few of my favorite combos so my favorite matte lipstick or my favorite um, satin on top of my favorite orange tone under my favorite orange tone gloss um, so if you guys want to see that then keep on watching all right so the first one that I have that I absolutely love is my Clo money by Kylie cosmetics um, this one retails for $17 and it is absolutely great. So it's very um, warm. It is a matte finish. Some say that it can get a little bit too dry. So if you feel like Kylie's lipsticks are a little dry, just layer over um, any of your favorite glosses that are either clear or also warm toned orange. So that way it really pairs together nicely. This one is Clo Money. Um, like I said, it is more of a warmer um, undertone and is a little more on the pink side, but it is still a very awesome orange undertone. If you're too scared or if you're not too ready um, to go for something that's really, really orange, I will have some more later on that are really orange, but this one is a really good starting point. Um, like I said, it retails for $17. I've had this one for a while and they really do last. Um, it should dry down here in a minute. So like that completely transfer proof and it only took about 30 seconds if that so the next one that I have that I think you'll really like is Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills so this one is a liquid to matte lipstick and it is long-lasting um, it's definitely one of my favorites and it never crumbles on the inside it's a really really awesome lipstick but I really like pairing it with a gloss as well um, if I'm going for more of a neutral eye and then want like a glossy <laughs> Ashton and it does dry down. Awesome. Okay, so my next favorite liquid lip is by Jeffree Star and it's their um, family collection. It's the one by Nathan. Nathan did a fantastic job on this. It is very bright. It's a brighter orange. It's not crazy bright to where you're not going to be able to wear it on the day to day. Velour liquid lip, so it's still very comfortable. You don't have to worry about it drying out your lips, but it is still really long lasting. So this one is Nathan. I love it. So if you notice, it is a little lighter or quite a bit lighter than the other ones. Um, it hasn't dried down just yet, but it dries down to more of like a pastel orange, which is really awesome. It's definitely a different um, formula, and I haven't seen this color very much. Um, like I said, I'm always on the prowl for another orange <laughs> lipstick um, or a nude. Those are just the colors that I gravitate towards. Um, so I really, really like this one. That one's Nathan. that I have for you um, is by Kylie Cosmetics and it is exposed. If you are a little darker than I am, a lip liner might um, help a little bit, but either way it looks fantastic. You don't need to have the lip liner, but unfortunately she does only sell it as the kit. However, it is a great lip liner. I'm not going to use it today because my pencil is not sharpened and I definitely suggest them, um, but make sure you have a pencil sharpener. An added bonus is these smell fantastic. They smell like cake. So this one is exposed. 
by Kylie. I really, really like it. Um, like I said, it is lighter than the first ones that I had showed you. It is one of my more nude um, orange tones, but it still looks really awesome, especially if you do have a deeper skin tone, just pair it with a really nice um, lip pencil, even if it's not Kylie's, just to give a little more definition, which I really love doing, um, just to give the illusion of a fuller pout. I like it. <laughs> obviously, obviously I like it. I mean, I'm putting it in this. All good. So the next lipstick that I um, like, <laughs> obviously that I like. The next one that I would recommend to you would be um, by Jeffree Star as well. It is Leo. So like Nathan is still orange tone, but it is darker. So this one I really like in the winter and going into fall because it is more of a burnt orange than just your typical kind of bright orange so Nathan is awesome for the summer but then I love not that you can wear any other time but it's awesome for the summer and it is more of a burnt orange so I really like it during fall with all my cozy sweaters and things like that So the next lipstick that I have for you guys that I really, really like is by Girl Lactic, so it's called Posh, um, and this one retails for $23. <laughs> So moving on from liquid lipsticks, the next thing that I want to show you is just a matte lipstick. So this one is by L'Oreal and it is a part of the Balma collection. This one I like to think of as like the regular lipstick version of Nathan by um, Jeffree Star. It doesn't dry down so it does transfer. Um, this one's called Confession um, and it is still available online or at Ulta. <laughs> So the next lipstick that I have that I want to share with you guys is by Patrick Star. Love Patrick Star and his lipstick Mama Star in collaboration with MAC. And it is a satin finish, so it's going to be a little bit more shiny. <laughs> Star Satin Lipstick retails for $18.50, but when this video goes up, I do know that they're having a sale on it, um, so if you do like this one, definitely head over. I think it's only like $11 right now, $11 or $10, bucks. so a really good deal. I don't know if it's going to be discontinued. I really, really hope not. So the next lipstick that I have to show you is by Tarte. I don't feel like it's talked about very much. I don't hear about them. This is the Tarte Lip Sculptor um, and Lip Gloss. This is vegan, and one thing that I forgot to tell you is all of the um, Jeffree Star are vegan and cruelty free as well. Um, so if you did like that, it is in the description box. So these, um, I feel like they're not talked about enough. It is a satin formula um, for the lipstick, but it does come with a gloss at the bottom that also is more of an orange tone. Um, not to mention it smells like cake. It smells super sweet. So if it has a sweet scent, not gonna lie, I will probably put it on over one that doesn't have a scent just because I love it. <laughs> it kind of persuades you and it makes you hungry, especially if you're gonna go eat and you smell it, you're gonna wanna eat something similar to that, I think, in my head. I don't know, I could be wrong. <laughs> This is the Tarte Sculptor in shade VIP. Um, it is a little more pink than the other ones, but still pulls very orange. I think it's still more of a peachy tone, and I really like it. Um, it is still very glossy, if you notice, without the gloss. So I don't 
put it on usually with this lipstick. Um, if I take this one, I'll probably put the gloss on over one of my mattes if I want it to show a little more. With the gloss, um, it's not very sticky. It's actually not sticky at all. I had forgotten about this one. So it's not sticky. Um, you won't have to worry about it bunching or anything. So I do really like it. But I think this lip doesn't really need to have a gloss because it is satin. Um, the only thing I would change about this is maybe making the lipstick matte, of course, because everything I have is matte. Um, so that way, if you wanted to make it more of a satin finish, you would add the gloss versus adding gloss on gloss on gloss, if that makes sense. But that's just my thought. I really, really like this one though. Um, and like I said, it smells good. Not talked about enough at all in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So the last two things that I have to show you are going to be my favorite glosses that I use to pair over the lips that I like. Um, so the first one is by Patrick Star and MAC. So the Le Matching Lip Gloss 2 Mama Star. I absolutely love it. Lip gloss can be a little more sticky, but with this one, I don't care because it is such a great color. <laughs> gloss bomb. I absolutely love this. It smells fantastic. Like I said, if it has a smell and it's orange, I'm going to have it and it's going to be mine forever and I'm going to probably love it. I mean, it's a fact. Um, but this one, the Fenty gloss bomb, it smells fantastic. Oh my God. This one smells like, I don't know, my childhood, something childhoody. I can't even put my finger on the scent. I just know that it smells so freaking good. When I first got it, I thought I knew what the scent was, but now I don't, but I don't care because it smells so good. So Fenty Gloss Balm, this one retails for $18, so not too bad. I didn't even tell you. So the Mama Star that I'm wearing now retails for $17 through MAC. Um, and then this one, of course, is through Fenty. <laughs> So the lip combo I'm going to show you today that is my absolute favorite um, at the moment for summer is combining um, Nathan. I keep wanting to say Neffery. <laughs> this is Nathan and Fenty. <laughs> I'll be posting a bunch of random stuff. Um, I know I want to do vlogs. I want to do some makeup stuff because I have a makeup addiction. Um, but I also want to do um, maybe like get ready with me's. Maybe like do a mukbang at some point. I like eating. I like makeup. That's what I do. Eating, makeup, sleeping, and I live in Colorado, so I really appreciate you guys subscribing. If you love the recommendations, if you do end up getting them, let me know. Um, I'd really love to hear it. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Bye! <laughs>